Thanks, MJ. We're really looking for your approval. <laughs> Jared Jaffe opening up is. with aces under the gun. I'm just, I'm just gonna get bullied tonight verbally. And <laughs> well, you should I, I just gotta be okay with it. I just gotta be okay with it. Wait, so what do we win if we have 10 deuce? Haley, Hannah no, could find trouble here with the ace oh, king. Yeah. Yeah. Is it really worth yeah. opening to 200? No, that's his that's size. That's his size. Yeah. 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 I think you and we'll see the flop. And top set for Jaffe. He could almost break the game right here. Haley with top pair and bottom set for Soto. You know, he's on a WCT final table. Yeah. This is going to be an interesting one. Haley, who avoided getting a lot of money in pre flop in bad shape. It's going to be hard to avoid it now. I looked you up today. Because bet, call, call. Nobody raising yet, at least. Porn up? Jared loves porn up. I mean, my, I like my own work. You thought wrong. Chrissy, I'm going to do you one favor one time. Okay. Okay? Uh, because you're new to this game, I'm yes. going to make sure you do not sleep your problem. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. No one else is going to have to pay it. though. Jared okay. started with 10K, okay. so to 20K. But I'm not going to say anything. Yes. You know I mean? Normally, yeah. when you have ace ace on an ace high flop, it's hard for like anybody else to have much. Yeah, a lot of times, people will slow play aces. <laughs> Jackie continuing to bet here, and Very it's going to work sick. out for him. Might have a drink. Contemplate. All in. Haley with a huge decision. You guys are all playing really good. Jaffe good. here deciding not to Andrew, let a river card peel Why off. Why don't you everybody? Why don't you the whole table instead of just lumping everyone together? I would call there with aces. Can't be all the same. Hoping that Soto keeps bluffing the river or thinking that I stack a hand like deuces anyways on most rivers. Mm -hmm. But he goes Wasn't for it, and it's going to be tough for Christian to fold. For Haley, she's mm -hmm. facing a lot of heat here. And her ace king was looking great. At this point, both players saying, I have ace king beat. Let's see if she believes them. She started with 10K also, but folds, and Soto does make the call. Yes. Yes. I want to see. Oh, thank God. Good fold, Haley. Run it twice. Haley managed to get off cheap there. Wow. Facing that heavy action. You do? Action. Uh, yeah. Jared sweeps. No such luck for Christian Soto with his pocket deuces. Are you not going to show me that? Oh, for you. Yeah. We're just with Queen Nine suited. We'll have to win the Another pot, November Niner, <laughs> along with this guy, Joe McKeon. You may have heard him. He's become famous. We got five vials. You got five. Was it four of Camus? Oh, okay. She had five vials of Camus only. Oh, really? She found five downstairs. Awesome. And so. I told her just to leave them off because you would drink it. Yeah. Wow, we've got some top like shelf wine that is us. coming to the table. Come on, guys. We all know you're not awesome. drinking bottles of wine. You're drinking boxes. Right, where are you going back to? Wine tastes better at right angles. Go back to? Like, where do I live? Yeah. Seattle. Seattle. Torelli, Cannuli, and Deeb sounds like a bad law firm going to the flop. Oh, man. Get the popcorn. This is going to be a Blues Brothers style car crash, and Sean Deeb is going to be the Illinois State Police. I, I, I knew you had it on the flop. That's yeah, what that is. Torelli is kicking off the pileup with an $800 bet. Sean Deeb doesn't have the worst hand, but he has 0% chance of ending up the winner. And I think he could certainly raise here. Despite the fact that he's drawing dead, it's a draw heavy board. Folks are very likely to have some kind of peace, especially with a bet and a call already in front of him. So the number is 3,300 from Deeb back to Torelli. If you listen carefully, you can actually hear the tap dancing coming out of Alec Torelli's brain. <laughs> I'm glad you came to the same conclusion I did that uh, he, he is just tanking here, so he doesn't seem too excited. Take your time, play it cool. Don't get the chips in too fast. Well, the question is, does Torelli want to keep both Cannuli and Deeb interested here? He's going to flat here. If he tanks this long and then raises, it looks super strong. But yeah, he wants Cannuli to call behind. No you survive the turn, and then you eliminate one of them. I mean, if it's a good turn, you don't want to eliminate anyone. All right, Alec, I think you've, uh, I think you've sold it. Uh, now you're just wasting I'll still give you 100 to trade. 
Yeah. So he finally <laughs> has made his decision, and that decision is to call. Smart decision. It's worth more than 100. And with the odds he's getting and a draw on one end to the nuts, I don't think Canuli can fold. 2,500 to win 8,500. They were block liquidity desk when they went into uh, the institutional sales. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. What years are we talking about? I was there. Oh, baby. I started in January 99. I worked 304. Oh, okay. So this pot was barely over $1,000 pre-flop, and now we're at 11,000. Original traders on that desk. Speed going to rewatch. And that's it. Canuli and Deep are drawing dead. And unfortunately for okay. Deeb, he's going to think that he just turned the absolute world's fair. He's frying fish at this moment. He's opening a chain of franchises. <laughs> oh, okay. So like right as I was Look at that. Everybody plays that it slow on the turn. And Canuli, of course, he just has queen high. But the two boats out there are playing it slow. What's this? That blue no, green. Incredible uh, poker. poker. What is in that? Kind of like I think Torelli's got a bet here. No, no. Doesn't want to risk. He can get two checks behind. It kept going well. Like, Eighty-five. Eight thousand five hundred. Eight thousand five hundred. And how long have you been a pro? Uh, so I played when I was in college. For Stupid hand. Okay. And then I went and worked for Sig for six years. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. I played since. Oh, well, I will be so impressed if Deeb's able to fold this. I mean, he is losing the jacks. He's losing the jack ten. So you tell me, pan all over again. Losing the ten seven sevens. Uh, um, I'm probably like twenty percent tournaments, eighty uh, percent. His cash. hands just so strong. The yeah, tournaments, you know, really high uh, variance. Yeah, yeah I, I don't think you can really realistically okay. fold Fucking that. Yeah, and once again, we said it earlier. Alex and now over to Lane again. It's not. It's. Now I can go back into my hole. 350's the bet. I'll lay by your dish. <laughs> See? Dirty dog. Poker night in America. Poker where the world plays online. Lane. You, hey, you just spent a lot of time reorganizing. There's like no way you can call me. I'm just gonna hope he doesn't have an ace also. You just, it's pretty brutal. Lane, I gotta play with you, kid. I got big hand. You just spent all that time reorganizing your chips. <laughs> It's true, but, but I couldn't help myself. Flops ace, queen, four, flack with two pair, and a set of fours for Phil. Wait, what? I'm sorry. Phil, Phil. Can we show your cards? So right there in the, oh, to the visual thing as well, you mean? Okay, you just got them. You just saw them in the mock. He just got them. What, the fake? <laughs> <laughs> I'm allowed, kid, to hold some chips extra what? in case can we, I might. Can we get a line out of your draw? Dude, I'm allowed to drop the chips. I, I and the turn yeah, is checked. another ace. Whoa, what a change of events You're here. As now Phil Locke is drawing dead, going to the river, and the river is a queen. Six and a quarter. Six twenty-five. You don't know how brutal that card is. It's it's unbelievable. It's the most brutal card in the deck. Lane saying that basically because he's got oh, trips okay. two different ways with aces and queens. I mean, I just told you what I had. Here you go, hon. It's funny, I felt like this hand was worthless on the turn. <laughs> there you go, hon. You you well, I thought maybe I'd bluff a little. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. I mean, it's... it's, it's <laughs> I thought it might be dead on the turn, Right now, too. like, you know, he flips over the oasis, deuce, gets all that pretty money back. No, I should have given up on the turn. I knew I was beat on the How turn. How can you give up on the turn? You fold all checks? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> like, I... Jennifer Tilly, King Deuce suited. She won a big pot last time with King Deuce. Makes it 175. Ellie Alezra in with pocket fives. JP took me to school there. Casella? Nine. Makes it 900 with pocket jacks. Yeah, everyone else would have slow played you. Could have got me. You Call did have a backdoor out. straight and flush draw, yeah? That is true. Okay, so if Jennifer's I get in danger of losing. Is Elia Lesra a bank of computers connected to the blockchain? You know? Bitcoin mining? Huh? <laughs> yeah, is he gonna go mining? <laughs> he doesn't have that much behind. I don't think he's getting the implied correct odds, but that's not fun. Of course not. Yeah. 87 conservatively percent. Of the time I tried to high play. flop. Look at that, you set of fives. And you know the odds I, of slow play. Casella continues. Yeah, That's a big bet from Casella. Yeah, 2,000. Jennifer, <laughs> good. <laughs> Jennifer did a fold. So, I think this is Kevin's plan. He's going to 
play six hours like a knit. Ellie and Lazar, all in. And then 19, you're gonna, 50. And then 19, you're 50. Steal from them because they have the image that you're. You might be drawing dead. Super loose and ridiculous. Well, I'm not drawing dead. Well, Cassell kind of priced himself in there. Oh, oh my, my goodness, God. it's a jack on the turn. And a oh jack on the river, God. despite the fact that Ellie wrong. had a flush draw. Whoa. What like poker god did hey. you anger? It's Sorry, my big mouth. I, I mean, said you'd buy the joint. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what they're looking at on TV? 300. Siegel makes it 300 with King 10. Well, nobody's paying attention. Glances in with sixes. The number is six. And Kaufman has King 4 of hearts. The number of six is the number of cheesesteaks I've eaten so far this weekend. All right, well, hold your cheesecakes, Hanson, because this flop is a car crash. Full house for one player, trips for the other two, and now a better full house for Siegel. I haven't seen a car crash like this since Blues Brothers 2000. And I don't even mean the big car crash scene. I mean the entire <laughs> movie. Raise, 2,500. This is so sad. Alexa, play Despacito. A lot more money is likely to go into 6, this pot. There comes our first of the big bets. That's Glance making it 6,500 over to Kaufman for Trip Kings. Glance drawing dead to quads, by the way. Often very likely to get caught up in the middle. When was the last time we had action in this game? I can't even remember. Last time we have action, we have sixty-five hundred dollar bet. Right oh now. wow! Are you on drugs? Or what? I didn't realize that there was a pot going on. <laughs> yeah, there's some pot going on. Not the easiest fold to make. That's Thank impressive. God. Thank God Jeremy folded. <laughs> Not so fast, Matt. Here comes the call from Siegel. And now 14,900 in the pot. The river is a nine. Come on, let's get it in. <laughs> All right. Nuts. Good hand. Oh, my uh, God. Mike, <laughs> queen you jack of clubs is the king. nuts. And then seven, eight of clubs she is the second nuts. Or some combination of all those cards. My point is, you didn't have the nuts, and it would have been funny if That's Matt what I'm here for. I'm proud of you. I pay, I pay dearly for when it. When someone says, let's get it in, and puts all of their four. chips in before you make a decision, yeah, it's actually kind of a tell. There's nothing I can do. I flopped it. I sixes. I flopped it. You had pockets in all of it, yeah. Now it's like... Like the first time I saw it at all, it was like, <laughs> I love Locke's goggles on the Avatar. You know, he's actually only wearing those because he refuses to miss new episodes of the Vanderpump Rules. Is it Vanderpump Rules or the Vanderpump Rules? I don't know. Spoilers. He's going glasses. Goggles, I gotta go glasses. Aces for David Silverman. Goggles versus glasses. They even have Bluetooth spelling. in them. I mean, that's the cool thing about. Please don't touch the goggles. <laughs> All your thing. No, they really are state of the art. Type point seven. And look at that. Hi Phil Lock flops a set of sevens, but Silverman's got the flush option. I'm coming in a second, Schwartzy. Two seventy-five from Lock. Take a back seat sometimes. We gotta hear the premature race. <laughs> race. I actually don't hate this race. You put on your shades right to be in the sand too. And you made some comment, and I remember thinking at the time, the I wish I'd heard what he else. said. I'm with you, buddy. I'm... I said, I put my glasses and said, oh, shades versus goggles. Shades versus <laughs> goggles. Hilarious. The goggles, they do nothing. Shades versus goggles. That feels like it's the key to what the plan, end of the hand, you know? Is he from, dude, like XR826. All right, so, you know, Bagel, I called you, Bagel. One, what is it? Yeah, bro. Lock really calls like, the race. I know, Phil is like. Oh, no. So Silverman. Animated. Gets there with the nut flush. Man, this will be hilarious if they put the straight flush out there. Nine and a quarter. Phil's still betting. I guess he must expect he's getting raised on the flop by a lot of non-club over pairs. Shays called. And here comes the river. Shays, do you what do you what do you want for that last card to come out? Six of clubs. Of course, right? Nah. <laughs> no, come on. Yes. Wow. Stop. What a bunch of horse nonsense. 
So if I'm all in. <laughs> can he actually bluff Phil off a chop? I love it. Shades versus goggles rules. Wow, you dirty dog. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> if he checked, I would do that. So if I was sitting there and I had the ten of clubs, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to check, hoping that my opponent hangs himself because he can't call an all-in because I would have the blocker to the ten of clubs. Just for clarification, so they four. both have a straight flush. Wow, that's a strong argument to calling to chop, but that's pretty gross. That's Silverman's gross. put him in a worse spot than when your girl asked to look something up on your phone. Buster Douglas, I think it was yeah, a Yeah, sure, go, go ahead, just be quick about it. Just gonna watch what you do, make sure you don't have any typos. Okay, what I'm about to do, I don't advise this at home. There's, uh, there's a theory in gambling called Score sheet decision making. Right now I'm up around 3K, up stuck seven, because I was up 10 at one point. If I play this and I get it wrong, I now become le legitimately stuck. I and like to call this, by the way, Phil Lockjick. It's logic, but Phil Lock style. I'd be stuck 21K, and I'd be very embarrassed. The embarrassment when he doesn't have the 10 of clubs and it was a chop is not that bad. I lose 2,500, I'm very happy for the man. I'll get him later, maybe. But it would hurt so bad if I was wrong. That pain, that's why he can do this play. This is genius. But I'm, I'm in such pain. It's so, this hurts so much. But I'm just going to do the painful move. Over Makes there. perfect sense to me. This Solid lock jick. If you show the buff, it's just. Can you show it? I can maybe show one. I'm not sure. Show him the red one. one. Show. show him the red one, Vinny. Come on. I made a score sheet decision. In a theoretical world, I, I put it in. Wow. Nah, I would have showed the ace of clubs. Ace ten of clubs, way more likely a hand he could have there. No, no, stack phones. It's not about that. We have to Well, trust. you're the one who's costing on their phone. So we stack phones. I say we stack phones. Hey, by the way, J. Kale, let's play. there's such a thing oh, as having let's somebody's Let's play. Word no more seeing my hands. Game. Let's play. Exactly. Oh. Let's play Let's Nobody play. Cares. Are we, you're not now you can loosen it up a bit. Oh. No, I'm going to loosen it up now for sure. <laughs> let's play. No more hands will be seen. No. That's it. Yeah, no hands. Too. No hands. F this. Yeah, yeah, let's play. play. Yeah, things are getting aggressive. Like so. I yeah. like this. Yeah, right. yeah, let's play. Yeah, I agree. Over 10,000. No, 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 no show and everybody stack phones. Yeah, no show and everybody stack phones. The only thing that you that's should show it. is if you bluff Phil. I mean, that's really. The yeah, you, you can still show. Yeah, show, show especially it's up to if you, you bluff if you want to show. You don't have to show is the point. No more small ball, boys. Just for fun. Time to put on the big boy pants. Yeah, big boy pants, for sure. Game's in the mug. What are you doing, J.K.? Get out of my pot. I'm just hanging out for a little bit. Just a little bit longer. Go ahead. Bet me out. Oh, I should just let the four roll off the turn. He does not have the best hand, but he's got a lot of outs. I play bad. What do you have, ace You got me there. I now I say trick. nothing. Yeah, I bet trick. Now I say nothing. I don't think I can bet you out, so. He Ooh. gets there, oh, gets sick there. Sick river. That should do it. That should do it. Easy peasy. A set for Calacanis on the river, and a straight for Helmuth on the river. What do you say, Phil? You wanna make the donation? Or are you popping it? I hope somebody bets a Tesla in the next 18 seconds. <laughs> oh, the tank fold. Classic Phil Helmuth tank fold. God. Right about now, the chat stream is going crazy for the tank fold. The tank rays. Wow. Did you hit your set? Your sneaky little sneak sneak? How much more? I don't see Phil raising so here without the nuts pretty much ever. Pull the one in for me. Thanks, Dylan. Sneaky sneaker. Wow. <sighs> 28. Uh, Phil, you want the call or no? Yes. I feel like he got his set. Sit there and don't say anything if you want a call. That's not a call. That is a raise. What is that? So what, is, like what, is, a raise. what is it? I'm, not, is I'm it, out of it. I'm what, out of it. What is it, Odie? I was just asking whether you were. All right, I'm all in. We both have 9 10, I guess. Oh, you don't. All in and a call. Helmuth is going to double up through Calacanis. Not even sure he realized there's a straight out bandit. there. Let's see the one-time bandit. Suddenly I'm starting to realize how Phil Helmuth has been able to survive as a pro all these years.
I was a history major first. in college, so just to be down yeah, by yeah, all that stuff yeah, was yeah, awesome. Yeah. Trilly raises with nines. Holloway calls, and then Deeb takes it higher to 600. Back to Karina Jett in the big blind with eights. She's going to sit this one out. It's time to play some poker, boys. And, and, and. Roughly, how much you play now? And. He doesn't recognize Phil, and. Phil, and. You're missing the second part of that sentence. Like 20K? Okay. Jeez. Do you see what you're missing in that sentence? Yes. So, so, be a, so be a gentleman and finish it. And ladies. Thank you. <laughs> like a little kid who got in trouble. <laughs> That's so hard. Wow. You see that? Like, God, I, really I felt like a little kid that got in trouble. <laughs> yes, Dad. No, it's a, Next it's, time, I'll just it's, punch you under the table. You know what, Phil? <laughs> I'm going to give you that 150 bucks back for the last hour. That's fine. You can have it. That's well worth it. All right, so back to the poker. Torelli flops a set of nines, but Holloway flops the straight. 1,100 is the bet from Torelli. I wonder if Holloway is going to raise here. He doesn't want to get rid of Torelli quite yet. He does raise to 3,500. Hold. Wow. Wow. What a lay down from Torelli. Now you're playing the game. You should, don't show that because of the, the, not even the players at this table understand what I, you I just did. I don't understand what just happened. There's only five <laughs> or six people on the planet that understand how good your play was right there. Half the players at this table think you made a bad play. I might so have. So don't show that I mean, including Chad. Including Chad. They have no idea. Nobody at this table would have folded that hand except me. <laughs> you start a little hardcore, but you, but it's easy to warm up to you. You know. Well, yeah. you know what? I'm gonna fun. try to make it with Jim Carroll now. No, I'm not a. Okay, say so your apologies. Good player like y'all. I am. But I do enjoy the game. Gonna <sighs> try harder with you. You're very advanced in the dark. You called him not a... cauliflower top. Just you not called him Carroll top. Uh huh. Come on. I mean, You're... those could be compliments, really. Damn, you haven't played a hand so long, I didn't even know you were here. How well, much is that? 800 and... 825. Okay. Ah. Ah. Okay, I won't needle you anymore, it's fine. Now, if I what suck at it, you don't tilt on me, yeah. okay? Yeah. Bill, yeah. Bill's been nice, he hadn't tilted. I've tilted. He tilted on his four for a little while. At the way I played the 6-4 diamonds. Well, heads up with Todd Brunson and Jim Carroll. Carroll flops a set of 10s. And I do not think Todd's one who's going to give this up too easily. We already see him firing out. One, two, 3,000 left, huh? That's it. 3,000. I like a raise here. I think this is going to hit a large part of Todd's range. I'm going to raise it 1,200. Looks like Jim agrees with me. I got it in my garage. You like that? Is it done? Like uh, that's a beautiful that golf cart. I love that. I'll mm -hmm. take this one. You take the next five. Yeah. So it, it's they, broke down though? We have five acres. So like, Todd's getting a pretty good probably. price on a call. Is it broke down or still works? Assuming uh, that his overs and gut shot are both live, are we know that overs are no you know, good. That are like the fastest things I've ever like ridden in. So I've kind of, yeah. I call. Wow, yeah. Brunson's just shipping it all in. Besides, he wants to see a turn and river. What about you? No. I'll take my spots <laughs> well. He's drawn pretty thin. Very thin now. No! Oh, my. You suck out, donkey. <laughs> <laughs> God. There's no way you can beat me with skill, so you have to suck out like a donkey.
What did you do? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, the there's no way Todd Brunson <laughs> can beat you with skill. <laughs> Freaks, you're playing too big of a game, apparently, Kane. Uh, you are. I don't think. You are. I don't think. You I were real think, scared when you had. You know the set I don't of fives. Think, I mean, the he's got to be trolling. Right? I don't. No, he's not. I play with Kane before. I do not think that Kane is first off trolling. The, the solution is to sometimes fold a set of closer. I'm, well, that's what I'm saying. After the argument, mathematical, you, know, like, like the you like argued solution. against doing everything a little bit of the time. Kings you know, for Casella. You know, Casella has played every single hand since we showed up here at Seminole Hard Rock. Frank slow playing the Kings a little bit. Did not re-raise with them three ways in this flop. He has not left the table. <laughs> All three days, he just keeps going. The loser of this hand has to empty out his bucket. I'm saying that there are circumstances against certain players in which I would fold my button okay. as a suitor right. when they cut off open. All right, that's, that's fair. I think rake matters a lot, too, though. And stack depth. Those are both really important. In this game, no rake and deep. It's a lot tougher. You know? That's true. But you have reverse implied odds if someone makes a straight flush and you make the ace high flush. This is a gross flop for kings. Wow, okay. I might start coming to these. Frank raising. <laughs> Thank you, Frank. Also, finally. Also, Doug, there were three, there were three antis. I'd fold a couple more, but like not, not many. I mean, I don't think I would ever fold two days in a bud to an open. To an under the gun open? To an open. To a, sorry, to a cut up open. Now you're losing yeah. to just one queen. And, and also, I just want to say it's like a reasonable sized open. Obviously, it's something right. like whatever. Yeah. Or if there was like there were, if there was like insane shenanigans going on behind me, then I might, <laughs> I might like consider. But this is not that. Oh, one. man. <laughs> Until now. If, if it was, you know, nine or 10 handed and everyone limped and. Well, here's how we're going to start. The bet is 9,500 from Beeb. The sell is probably going to make it like 25 or 30,000. Well, those are Frank's biggest chips. I run so bad, man. It's so fing dirty. That is all of his big <sighs> chips. Raised to $34,000. That's 60K in the middle. If Sean calls, we're just shy of 100. Nice hand, Frank. I think we'll, we'll get there. Oh my God, oh my God. Can I see that one? Can you? Yeah. Sean Deeb was well, standing there, but he's the one that deserves an ovation. The ante from the big blind and the deuce seven. So it's no limit Texas hold me. Blinds 25 and 50 with a $200 ante paid on the big blind. And the deuce is seven rule is in play. Win a hand with seven two. Everyone at the table's got to pay it 200 bucks. Starts with Andy's. That's great. 25, 75, 150. I love it. The best. APT's high world, start with empty. Yeah. What does? High rollers. High rollers, high rollers and EPTs and stuff. Yeah. yeah. That's really good. It's so much better. It's so much better. And for this 2 7 game we were playing, you have to scoop it. Not chop, not like run it twice yeah. and win the 200, one. Lose 200 one. You have to scoop the whole well, Are we on for 7 2 yeah. 7? Yeah. We we're on. For sure. yeah. we're yeah. on. It's for well, sure. how much is it if 200. you win? 200. 200. 200. Yeah. You'd be surprised how often the 7 deuce rule comes into play. It's always aces or 7 deuce. Sorry, let me turn that off. Put your cards side by side over here. Oh, this sure. Randy's gonna put in another raise here. Are these RFID? RFID. Yeah. Yeah. And Lou makes it 800. Eight. And Randy's got a pretty tight image, so this should get him some respect. Uh, except that Antonio has respect for no one. A yeah, lovely morning. Trim down to two players, so Lou and Espandiari will see the flop together. Antonio does have a pretty good hand for cracking queens. Uh, is, is that qualify for cracking queens or not? Absolutely. Randy, what a bad spot for him. Top set and it's no good. You start with five, right? Yeah. 900 from Lou and a call from Espondiari. Antonio could have raised there. It was a draw heavy board. Both players right now are in love with their hands, obviously. Yeah, definitely. And Randy's almost always betting again. He's just never beat here, except for now. Like, never, but now. $1,700 the bet from Randy Liu. And I'm pretty sure we see a raise from Antonio now. Antonio, how much is it for the installment to start with? Oh. Liu's repping a pretty strong hand when he bets twice. Randy, it's the first hand. <laughs> Board's got a pair on the river, otherwise the entire stack is going to his Fondiari. First hand set. Oh, the first hand every time all set. 
uh, what do you want to call it? Flux. And Randy Lou finds a cooler on her very first hand here on Poker Night in America. Uh, all his first hand, all in. <laughs> wow. First hand, all is all in. Flops a straight, uh, rivers a flush. And to amorphize inanimate objects is fine too because it brings us, expresses who we are as humans. You know? Man, I cannot wait till Phil Locke gets his own TED talk. We're intuitive, empathic beings. That I don't think he has like stopped talking at the like table. He might actually be giving one right now. Phil is so you know, bright, the, the I pack, can't even we're understand. We're pack animals. All of our brain neurons, eight billion, whatever you have firing, we're all firing against each other, changing, learning, morphing, as we're all a big collective, you know. Wow, that's an action flop. Set for Schombacher, top pair in the nut flush draw for Locke. I foresee more chips going in the middle. And I don't have a connection to the mothership through the goggles, but I'm guessing there's more money that's gonna go in the middle. Yeah, I don't think you need it for this one. You're in there, huh? Dude, can you do me a flavor? Don't, just flesh that flat. <laughs> that's the word, fleshing? Yeah, thanks. Can you what? Like that? I just wanna sort of It's easier it for the neurons to fire into a pleshed pot. More surface area for the free radicals to get pleshed. There's like 4,600 out there, so I have to bet 4,150, which is kind of like a plushing bet. Actually, there was 4,800, but you know, I'm not gonna question a part alien. It's way more likely we got it wrong than him. It's times like this that sometimes my opponents wonder if the mothership is within <laughs> the reception cycle yeah. or an elliptical part where it's sort of out of reception. Could be out in the middle of the Atlantic. Don't be ridiculous, the Atlantic. Are you the one commanding that ship, or do they? Oh no! It's you're not commanding it. They don't listen to you at all. Are you like one of the dumbest people just, on the ship, or is there? Are you the? I'm just tuned into what's going on on the ship. They talk about poker. They do. <laughs> oh, they're watching it. They're oh. piped in. What do you think these cameras and wires that go into that area, and then the, yeah. they do the satellite hop with yeah. the Wi-Fi enable whatever. The hop and the enable. I like the raise. Phil's got something probably, and you want to make him pay. Do you want me to put it in? Oh, what if you have a set of aces? Well, we've already got our biggest pot of the night, and we haven't even gotten to the river yet. By the way, Phil has outs to the nuts and a hand that could very well be the best Big hand. pot of brewing. Huh? There are a lot of chips in the middle as it's ballooning now to 28,000. Nine of spades on the river. Mothership. Doesn't need to tell me that. That is gross for kings, but I think I can hear them cheering in the mothership from here. It's like a dull whistle. I think we all hear it differently, maybe. I'm all in. How much is it? This is the wall of chips, young man. You'll meet the wall from time to time. <laughs> Hello, Walls. <laughs> well, Jack Schombacher, what's it gonna be? Think about the baby! I fold. You win. Oh, that has to hurt. Good fold, Dad. <laughs> you get everything. You don't have Race, to post, but yeah. everyone else does. Right. Jeez, well, that, that's one of the things. Yeah, I'm not, because because I'm primarily not a cat. You're three for you don't have to play any hands because you can just win all the oh, runways. Runways, yeah. yeah. I'm primarily not a cash game player though, so that's why I get these these, these added benefits. And I wear a bacon jacket. <laughs> yeah, you, were, you didn't even have to be in the tip pot when you weren't even here too. You should pay him $6. I should, but I'm not going to. Seven would be too much. Seven dollars. No. Eight handed. Huh? Yeah, so that's uh, 56, you only pay 50. Come on. I'll give you a pass, I got your time this one. Thanks, right? buddy. Appreciate it. I'm not, See, Chargers is Chargers has got a little bit of a hard on for me right now. He's like a little bit pissy because he wants to be the executive producer, but <laughs> he can't be. I, I mean, I figured executive like producer at least get zone one. You gotta dress the part. <laughs> I know. How do I not get zone one? That was bull. <laughs> Dave, if I don't get zone one in my in future flights, I'm not coming to this thing. Did you get paid? All right. Oh, that's all right. Who's paying? I, I should I loser just keep buying all this shit or? Uh... 
Maybe, maybe one of my That's winning friends. For, for one of my winning friends. Uh, the show's really taken off. How many times can I shame him into Syracuse it? Syracuse, they fly us in a private jet. Now I get zoned too. Tom, mm -hmm. I would buy it, but yeah, I gave you all my money. What's that? I would have bought, but I gave you all my money. Well, you want a drink? I'll buy you a drink. I don't drink. Oh, then I'll. I water, drink Coca Cola. I'll get you all the water you want. But I got Coca Cola. Don't worry about water, Joe. I got you. <laughs> how long have you not drank? Thank for? you, Jeff. Thank you, Joe. How long have you not drank for? 17 years. 16. Wow. 16 is the best. That's okay, because Gavin, Gavin kept the, uh, the vodka companies in business while you quit. <laughs> yeah. Gavin figured you needed to make it up for, for Joe. I've made it up for more than just Joe. Yeah, you probably have. I've probably consumed like three and a half people's worth. Yeah. Baker calls. $5,400 in cash in the pot now. We got a hand here. Dealer, can we see the river, please? Oh, wow. <laughs> David Baker hits his gut shot on the river and casually checks. Ho hum. Merson trying to figure the exact amount he thinks he can bet to have Baker call. My dad, my, dad's, my, dad, my dad died, but uh, his name's Steve Harder. He went to Zerunda Park High as well. Harder, H-A-R-D-E-R. He went to Zerunda Park High as well. He's, he would have he would have graduated around 1970, I guess. Um, but then he had a construction business before he moved to uh, Virginia. 4,800. Almost a pot-sized bet from Merson. Action back to David Baker who's now going to put on the same thinking cap of how much money can I get out of Greg Merson with my straight. Christian, is where you're from close to Laurel? I mean, that's where Greg's from. It's like 30 minutes away. Because that's where Stevie does, that's where Stevie did his, he probably knew your dad then, because he did, he's done tile work for 40 years. His dad's done it for, his dad's done it for 70 years. His dad retired when he was 88. I'm doing it. I'm sure one of them did. I actually, when I was a kid, Mullen. first Mullen. grade, I lived in Eastport. And a bad spot for Greg Merson. He's only got a couple thousand left. There's $19,000 in this pot. But if he makes the call, all the rest of his chips are going in the middle. That may be one of the most painful things you have to do in poker. You flop top set of aces and you had to fold. What did he show? Holy Did shit. he show the card yet? He showed a six of diamonds. And Baker's gonna let Merson off the hook and the show them lick. that he did indeed make the straight on the river. He just won with the big lick. Well, that was fun. What do you say we watch another one? Get comfy, it's called a click hole. Don't worry, no one's gonna tell your boss.